hello everyone thank you guys so much for clicking on this video my name is Brittany, and if this is your first time seeing me welcome and feel free to subscribe no pressure but in today's video i'm going to be showing y'all how i achieve these beautiful mini twists on my type 4 natural hair so stay tuned okay so here i am and whenever or before i start braiding or twisting my hair I have to section out the front of my head from the rest of my hair because I do the front of my hair very differently from the back. I make it much neater, much cleaner, and I just like to separate it from the rest of the hair. And I usually section my hair out in rows. I feel like that's the easiest way to do it. And I really do not make the parts perfect in the back at all. Like, I don't waste my time trying to make parts perfect in the back. Especially since, like, they're twists and the root's going to be puffy anyway. So, I, in this situation, would prefer to focus more on the front. It just saves me some time. So, here I'm showing you guys the twist that I had did off camera. And the twists do get really puffy. And I do kind of like that. But that's exactly why I got to section the back much. Sorry, section the front much smaller. Because I don't want the twist to be this big in the front. So here I'm just sectioning out the um, parts for the twists. And I'm not using that much hair as y'all can see. Like the parts are quite small. Like you can literally see through those strands. But the twists do still come out puffy. So be wary of that when you're making your parts. So I'm going into my pomade and I use the Africa's Best and this is like petroleum. This is like blue magic but a lighter version of it and I specifically focus it on my ends and then I work my way up because my ends are the driest part of my hair. And I make sure to rub it in there really really good because my strands definitely need as much moisture as she can get. So after that, you kind of just begin to twist and I like to twist it all the way down to the bottom. You guys see how tiny it is when I'm twisting? Like it's probably going to be one and a half times that size by the time I'm done twisting. But it is still a cute little look. And like I said, I twist it all the way down to the bottom and that's how it looks at first. But with time, it's going to get puffier. And I'm pretty much just repeating those same steps and I'm going to finish like the rest of the row and it didn't really take me that long probably like 15 or 20 minutes but i'm really liking how everything is looking so far like i was really pleased with everything and then i decided to turn to the back to show you guys how i part the hair in the back So finishing up the row, once I'm done with this twist, I'm basically going to finish the rest of um, the back on camera and then I'm going to hop back on camera for the front. Okay, so the back is finally done after 24 hours. And now I'm ready to do the front with you guys on camera because it's time to knock this hair out of the ballpark, honey. So this is the, how far I've come. This is the progress I've made. And I just love how beautiful the twists look. They look so natural. And I love the fact that it's my real hair. So I'm sorry. I'm going to apologize in advance because I will be looking that way a lot because I need a mirror for the front. You know, you cannot mess up the front. So I need to be real cautious, real specific. And you see how the parts are very neat, very nice, not, you know, not compared to the back. Because like I said, this hair needs to look spectacular. It needs to look really neat. And it needs to look like a professional did it. So I basically did the same thing with the strand. I combed it. Um, I put pomade on it. And now I'm just twisting it. And like I said, I twist all the way to the bottom. And I can already, you know, like you already see like how it's gonna frame the face just by that one twist. Like, 
And I like how tight the base is. The base is really tight as well. I really like that. Now, for the most part, the steps are pretty repetitive. So I just want to use this time to prompt y'all to follow me on Instagram. I will leave my Instagram in the description box. And follow me because I'm way more consistent on there. And I post really cute makeup videos on there. And I just be cute. So why not give me a follow? Now the twists are going to be very stiff at first when you first do them. But with time they're going to flatten. Because I really hate like um, a scalp that's not flat. But with time they will flatten. And gravity will also pull them down. So yeah they're going to look good. Ladies and gentlemen, we are coming very close to the finish line. We only have that section of hair left. And as y'all can see, it's looking real good. I like I like the, how the curls are curling up at the end. Like, I really, really, it's just coming together real nicely. And the hair is not even done yet. I'm just so pleased with how everything is looking so far. And I'm happy, period. I'm happy. So now I'm just going to knock out the rest of the hair. And I will see you guys towards the end. So these twists are officially done. We finally come to the end of the road. Due to this quarantine situation, I couldn't buy stuff to adorn the hair with, but it's okay because makeup does it just fine. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you know, as usual, if you made it to the end, you will roll one. Go ahead and subscribe because I will be uploading another video on how I style these twists. So stay tuned and thank you so much and happy quarantine. Stay safe. Bye.